today, well, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, that's a fight. This ain't a very big channel cat, but it's, he's fighting on this light tackle. This is a lot of fun. I'm going to show you a method a lot of people knows about. Some don't. But it's deadly this time of the year. Look how he's bending that pole. Quit. That's going to be enough of that right there. Not a very 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 impressive specimen but as you can see he's pretty let's talk about what we're going to do today today we're going to be talking about slip corking for catfish one of my favorite ways to catch these critters right here Little fella. Woo. All right, folks, let me show you my rig. To start off with, I'm just using a medium action Shimano Cellus. Uh, it's uh, seven feet long. Yep, seven feet long. Excellent rod choice for this. And I also have me another rod over here rigged up that's basically the same. Now, what I'm using under all this mono right here is 10 pound test braid but now i'm doing right reverse than what you would if you were bass fishing and i tied 14 pound test mono connected it with a double uni knot and i have a long leader probably about a 30 foot leader now the reason why i'm doing this well we're fishing around rocks i don't want this braid to have any chance of touching these rocks because not only can you catch channel cat there's a possibility of catching blues maybe a flathead i've caught a lot of flatheads using this method now what we have right here is just a one alt no it's a two alt eagle claw cigar circle hook and i have on it two fiddle worms which i fiddle myself I have a video about that, how to do it. Now, this part of the country, we call them, the technique is fiddling for worms. And when you get towards West Virginia and in other places, they call it something a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. So check that video out if you want to catch prime catfish bait for springtime fishing. And what we have right here is a split shot, a slip float, a bead, and right here where I caught that catfish was about seven feet deep. I have, and it's gonna be hard to see it, but there's a little knot right there. It's a slip knot tied with 10 pound, uh, eight pound test um, monofilament line. I use eight pound test because it cinches down harder and it will hold whatever's under this float. But now what I had to do, I had to fish for about 30 minutes to establish the correct depth for these fish on this bluff. I was sitting over 25 feet of water. Now what these catfish are doing, they're in pre-spawn right now. They're in pre-spawn period. And what they're doing is sitting on the first ledge before it falls off into deeper water. Uh, in other words, at the bluff, it falls about three feet, tapers down to a ledge on most of this bluff, and then drops down to 25 feet of water. On that ledge is where they lay their eggs, especially um, channel cat. Now, you, it's possible to catch a flathead. I've caught flathead uh, doing the same thing, occasionally pick up a big flathead, and they will hit these fiddle worms. All right, folks, let's hook us another. Now, I've got to, I want y'all to look at them. I fiddled up a bunch of them. I had, there's some brim or uh, some kind of panfish knocking them off. Now, you're going to have that trouble. But I just, I just take them and hook them a couple times. I want all that to be loose and sticking out right there like that. Pretty good size bait. 
really. Um, fiddle worms is actually just a type of earthworm. There's several different types of earthworms, but it's just a type of earthworms. And they have a unique smell about them. They stink. Now, I can't describe the odor, but it's strong. <laughs> it is strong. All right, let's fish around here, see if we can't catch another. Look here, look here, folks. There he is. Now that's a good one right here. Now I've got my cork set or my, my stop set at around eight or nine feet. But that fish was suspended over 18 feet. On this kind of tackle, it's nothing but a lot of fun for me. Now I like catching great big catfish, but I'm gonna tell y'all something. To me, this is real sporty, but this is not everybody's cup of tea. And I realize that, but, but to me, it's a lot of fun. Now that fish has got down in something. Okay, we got him out. They know everything that's down there on the bottom, but he did, he got into something. Probably wedged himself in a rock. I've got my drag set really light, folks. Look here. Now that's a nice channel cat. That's a nice channel cat. That son of a gun was mean. And they are this time of year. When the water temperature gets around 70, these fish get mean. Matter of fact, that's a good channel cat. That's the kind of fish I like to catch. And bigger. Quit. Now that's a good one. Right there, my weight, my split shot slipped down just a little bit. About seven or eight inches is where I like it when I'm fishing these bluffs. I want that bait to stay straight down. But, uh, yeah, the design of a circle hook, I, I've had that question several times. Why a circle hook? See, I'm not going to keep this fish. And see right there where it hooked him, right there in the corner of the jaw. Now that bait, them worms could have been all the way back there in his throat, almost swallowed. But when I put pressure on that fish, that hook slipped and caught him like that. And uh, that's what you want if you want to release them. That's what you would want anyway, really. But uh, let's then hook this fish and let him go. Circle hooks are a little bit hard to get out, but what, what I do is grab just as close to the point as I can and just roll it out. Roll it out in a circle, circular movement. And uh, that's a female, she's full of eggs. Go on back. <laughs> All right, let's bait up with another fiddle worm or two. Whoa, and let's catch another one. Whoa, okay, Barcel, keep that, that gas if you want to. Don't use Beano if you want to be stubborn. That will stop your problem. Now, folks, right there where that offset is in that bluff, there's about a four foot offset. See that bluff wall comes right here, and then it goes back, and the bluff starts again. That's where I caught that fish. Now, I'm going to fish that pretty thorough because there could be several catfish in there. That may have been the only one I'm going to catch, but, and that's not a very good cast. What I need to do is get closer to the bluff with that bait. Okay. But there could be several fish there. There's been many a time where I'd catch five or six fish out of one little area like that. The best thing to do is just fish it. Give it time. And if it don't produce, we'll just move on. Listen. 
You hear that? That's all it is. That wood right there. Crunk, crunk, crunk. And then every once in a while. And then I'll go crunk. You don't hear that? Boy, if you don't hear that, I don't know what's wrong with you. Look here. There he is. Little channel cat. Boy, he took that down so slow. Usually now, when they hit it, they hit it hard and fast. They don't play with it, folks. <sighs> he ain't that big. Matter of fact, I think he's the smallest one I've caught, but <laughs> it don't make no difference. He's mean. Yes, him he is. Quit. That's enough. You stop that squawking. I'm not bothering you. Hey, them things don't like it when you go down the same shoreline that it, they're hunting. Boy, they let you know about it. What he's doing, I mean, it makes them mad. Them old herons. All right. I knew you were not too big when I hooked you, but that one still has his spots on him. That's a young catfish. All right, let's let him go. Catching catfish on the bluff. I'm catching quite a few, can't show them all. But I tell you what, <clears throat> let me get that old worm out of there. It's a great technique, there's no doubt about it. The, the mechanics of a circle hook and why I use them for catfish. Well, especially when you're fishing with worms, catfish will swallow this, even a small channel like I caught, just like that. And if you don't want to keep that fish, if you throw him back with a hook down deep where he swallowed it, chances are that fish will die. Well, circle hooks were designed to slide in a fish's mouth and catch them in the corner of the jaw. So that's uh, the, the mechanics of a circle hook. Now, sometimes they'll swallow these small ones, but not much, because once that float goes under, I think about reeling, and that's what you do. You don't set the hook with a circle hook, you reel. So that's the mechanics of a circle hook. You'll save far more fish and be able to release them back alive. Let's get back to fishing. Whoa. bursal has got the gas! There he is. Mm, that's a good one. Ain't no doubt. They ain't no doubt about that. This is a good one. They, they all feel good on this type of... Look how he's got that rod bowed, folks. This is just as fun as catching a big blue cat on 40-pound line in a big old reel. Or more fun. Now, I don't know about flathead. I love to catch them big flathead. Them, <laughs> them dudes are mean. Come on. Boy, they're mean this time of year. They're quick in the water, strong. And you won't quit. That's a male. Big-headed male, I believe. Come on in here. My goodness. That is a big son of a gun for a channel cat. Look at there. They... That's a net full of channel cat. Net full. I was wrong, that's just a big female. See, she's full of eggs. Golly. Y'all try this slip corking. 
It's a lot of fun. a lot of fun. That was a strong, strong fish. I can't, I can't take it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Well, folks, there's a little slip court fishing right there. I tell you what, it's a very productive technique. You can have a lot of fun. The main thing is, is to find the right depth where you're getting most of your bags when it comes to bluffs. I want to say, walk in faith. The Lord is in control. He's got this. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. A matter of fact, it's a sin to worry. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Hey, whoa. Oh my goodness, whoa! And to remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.